Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and we are back with a brand new episode of Dated Home Designs in Need of a Major Upgrade. You all are loving this series and I'm loving all of the episodes as we break down home improvement projects, as big as renovation projects, as detailed as finishing. Sometimes we might even dive into furniture and home decor and accessories, but we are here to talk about all of those dated home designs that you should be upgrading now. Before we get started, I would like to thank Wayfair for sponsoring this video. You might know Wayfair from their website where you can literally shop thousands of products that are perfect for your home, but you might not know about their YouTube channel. They have a brand new series on their channel now called The Small Stuff and it's hosted by a really funny YouTube dad named LaGuardia Cross. In this new Wayfair series, LaGuardia Cross embarks on small home improvement projects with a can-do attitude and a willingness to learn. This YouTube dad is definitely more at home in front of the camera than behind a drill so the audience actually has an opportunity to learn a home project alongside him and his beautiful girls. LaGuardia does everything from replacing an overhead light fixture to making over an entire bedroom for his daughters using Wayfair products and along the journey there's a ton of life lessons built in. It's a mix of family humor, Mr. Rogers and some HGTV as well. The Small Stuff is such a great new series on Wayfair's YouTube channel because it's so relatable. LaGuardia is not a handyman, he's not an expert DIYer, he's really just a regular dad caring for his girls and his little family and he's embarking on all of these really cool kind of like Mr. Fix-It DIY projects that you and I can totally relate to. The series is super hilarious, it's really wholesome and you definitely don't want to miss it. Go check out the full episode of The Small stuff on Wayfair's channel now and definitely subscribe to their channel if you want to stay up to date on all their great content. I've included a link in the description box below so you definitely don't want to miss it. Now back to our episode. Today we are discussing dated home designs in need of a major upgrade and before we jump right into my list I want to let you know that this series is of course 100% subjective. These are my personal opinions of dated home designs that I feel could get a modern upgrade, a little update if there are key areas in your home or small little corners that you want to upgrade and you're looking to make really budget-friendly replacements or you're looking to find a solution that feels like it modernizes and updates your home, this video and this series is definitely right up your alley. The first on my list is cultured marbled countertops. Now what is cultured marble? You'll know it if you see it. It's usually on a bathroom countertop where the sink and the countertop are molded into one. Cultured marble is actually actually a man-made product. It's a combination of grounded up stone aggregate mixed in with resin and pigment. You can mold it into any shape you want, any color you want. And back then in the late 80s and 90s, this was so hot and pretty much every single brand new home had it because it was a builder grade material that was so inexpensive to fabricate and install. By the name alone, you might think that cultured marble is a natural stone, but it's not. It's actually a composite made to look like natural marble. So they pour those additives and pigments in it and they create that kind of swirling marble effect. This is such a dated look for so many reasons. Number one, if you have that old cultured marble from the 90s or the 80s, it has probably yellowed by now. The reason why cultured marble might yellow over time is because the bathroom that it was installed in might not have enough air circulation for the material to breathe properly. You might have a bathroom with no windows and no way for that air to escape. So over time, that cultured marble yellows, it degrades, and it could look like really cheap, hard plastic, which in essence, that's what it really is. A modern way to update cultured marble is simply with a beautiful natural stone countertop. You know that I am a huge fan of natural stone. I think natural stone is just something that's so timeless. The more you choose something that really elevates the space, the more it's going to bring personality into the space and really become an essence and the spirit of who you are. I love heavy veining. I love really beautiful patterns in natural stone. And really those are the types of natural products that I gravitate towards. One of the biggest pros of cultured marble is of course its ease of cleaning. Since it's just one molded piece, it's so easy for you to kind of wipe down the countertops and get through every single nook and cranny. If that's a maintenance feature that you love, you could consider getting Corian. 
Corian is a man-made product as well, is poured into a mold. It's a very similar fabrication process to cultured marble where the mold is poured out into one seamless countertop. It's easy to clean. There are so many different colors and configurations that you can choose. But then again, you don't get that look of natural stone since it is a man-made product. So if you have cultured marble countertops in your bathroom right now, the number one way to add resale value to your home is to get rid of those and add in natural stone countertops. The next dated item on the list that is in need of a major upgrade are those black and brass fireplace covers. You'll note if you see it, it's a combination of polished brass mixed in with cheap aluminum, black metal, and an accordion glass cover. I mean, these fireplace covers scream the 80s, and I actually lived with one myself in my childhood home. You'll hear me talk a lot about my childhood home in this dated design series, and I went through so many of them. So you can say that I really honed my designer's eye at a very, very young age, which is why I can talk about it now. Polished brass as a finish is just one of those things that automatically date your home. We know that it was really popular in the 80s and 90s, and again, I always talk about builder grade finishes. Builder grade finishes are pretty much anything that are in stock and you can pick up at your local hardware store. They're very inexpensive to not only source, but also to fabricate. It's really just a fireplace cover and sometimes even a box that you just plop right into the fireplace opening that you already have. Now, is it stylish? No, not at all. Is it functional? Absolutely. But there are so many ways for us to upgrade that look now that feels modern, fresh, inviting, and very cool. If you have kids and pets in the home, exposing that firebox without a cover is not only impractical, but of course it's a safety hazard. So what are you going to cover it with? The first thing you need to do is measure the opening of the firebox cover. You can also opt to make a custom glass cover that fits right over that opening. These glass covers can come in a variety of configurations. It could be a single glass panel that sits right in front of the firebox. You can source something that opens out like French doors. If you like that accordion door look or that bifold look, you can opt to replace it with something just like that, but in more of a streamlined profile. Frameless glass is a really clean and modern way to update this fireplace cover. Moving on to the entry, another dated home design in need of a major upgrade is a flooring medallion. Now what is a flooring medallion? Imagining opening up your front entry doors and you're met with this huge medallion on the floor. Sometimes it's a starburst pattern, sometimes it's a compass, sometimes it's an image, sometimes it's an emblem or even a monogram of your family's last name. To me, not only are these designs dated, but they also scream like car showroom. Here is the brand, front and center. I mean, it has a very casino vibe to it. And although that might look great in Las Vegas, it definitely does not look chic in your home. A really simple way to update this design is to demolish the entire entry of your floors and just run that flooring all the way through. If you currently have tile flooring in the entry, you really can choose a tile with a little bit of pattern, a little bit of graining, something with a little bit of visual interest so that it carries you all through the front entry of that space. This look was really popular in the 90s when travertine was on the rise. Now, I love travertine. I love travertine, I love limestone, especially for whole house flooring. I think it's such a really beautiful modern way to introduce a natural stone into the space. The key to choosing really beautiful natural stone flooring is to look for a natural stone without a whole lot of variation. The thing that people loved about these medallions in the floor was that they were so easy to customize. I mean, you could pretty much cut and fabricate natural stone in any type of pattern and design and kind of piece it together like a mosaic. But it's kind of like how I feel about accent tile. When the tile is cut and contrasted along with a larger body of tile, especially in a high contrast color or finish or pattern, it just really degrades the entire look. I feel like it kind of cheapens the look and it doesn't feel as high end and luxury as it could. So the goal is to choose a natural stone that doesn't have a whole lot of variation in its finishes so that you have a really beautiful beautiful seamless look that carries you from the entry into the common areas of the home. Another dated home design in need of a major upgrade are those kitchen cutouts. 
I don't know what people were thinking back then with these kitchen cutouts. I feel like back then in the 50s and 60s, homes were built with compartmentalized rooms. You had a formal sitting room, a parlor, a formal dining room. The kitchen was kind of enclosed. And then along the lines, maybe the 70s, the 80s, they felt like, you know what? I love to entertain. I want to be a part of the mix. And so they kind of cut out this little rectangle or a little square from the kitchen to the dining space, added a little ledge called it a breakfast nook and it seemingly felt like it was a little bit more integrated into the space and it was functional because you have this little like bar ledge that you can kind of serve food and be able to speak to your guests that are in the dining room. Nowadays, a majority of people love an open plan space. We don't want something that feels too confined. We want something open, bright, light, and airy. So the easiest way to upgrade this look is to knock down that entire wall. Of course, this is a really major overhaul. This is not something that you're gonna be able to do and DIY over a weekend. What you lose is this entire row of cabinets and countertops. Your appliances might be on that wall, but what you gain is a really large, open and expansive space. The kitchen is the heart of the home. It's really the hub where everything happens and where everyone congregates. For me, I love a kitchen that sees into the dining room, that sees into the living room. I know where my kids are playing. I can talk to all of my guests while I'm preparing dinner. And bonus points in being able to see the entirety of my beautifully finished kitchen. So if you have this condition in your home, definitely consider at least getting rid of all of the upper cabinets to open up the space. And if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, knock down that entire wall and plan your beautiful new dream kitchen. The next dated home design in need of a major upgrade are those oversized stone fireplace surrounds. Those stone fireplace surrounds that take up the entire wall and they're filled with these huge bulky rocks. This dated home design was really huge in the 80s, but I feel like it came out of the Flintstone era. You have this entire wall that's filled with these massive rocks and this tiny little firebox. There's so much variation in these rocks that they feel so imposing and really overwhelms the space. I love natural stone and I'm not about to tell you to get rid of this entire monstrosity, but there is a very easy and relatively low budget fix around this. That is simply to whitewash the stone. Now whitewashing the stone is exactly as it sounds. You are simply painting a white finish over it. You can choose any white you want, a white, an off-white, a grayish, a beige. The idea is really simple. It's just to paint over the existing rocks with the paint color of your choice. I love how white just really freshens up the entire space. You'll still see the natural texture of the stone shining through, which is a huge plus, except now that you've painted it in a finish that really vibes with the aesthetic of your new space. And last on my list of dated home designs in need of a major upgrade are Torshir floor lamps. Raise your hand if you've had a Torshir floor lamp in your home or you might be looking around and it's staring at you right now. There was a time when I literally had one Torshir lamp in every single room of the home. I mean, as a teenager growing up, my parents were really, really gracious. They knew that I was always interested in design decoration and they kind of let me design, decorate, outfit every single room in our home to my liking. And they would simply just fund it. I ran out to my nearest hardware store and I picked up these Torshir floor lamps. They were black in base or they were silver in base and then they were met with a little plastic cap on top. If you have a Torchier floor lamp, you'll know why everyone loves it. It's easy to install. I mean, really, you just plug it in. It's inexpensive. You can get one for every single room and they light up the space and the ceiling so well. However, they look cheap. I mean, not only do they look cheap, they are cheap. I remember purchasing a Torchier floor lamp for maybe less than $20 per lamp back then, and I'm pretty sure you can even get it for cheaper today. However, nothing cheapens your space and dates the design like a Torshir floor lamp that's made out of plastic and cheap metal. There are so many better upgrades on the market today and I'll be sharing them with you. And of course, anything that you see featured in this video could be found in the description box below. If you're looking for a plug-in floor lamp because you're not about to hardwire the entire space, there are so many modern and chic alternatives on the market. Stay away from cheap aluminum, stay away from cheap plastic, and stay away from an exposed bulb that you can see. What you're looking to replace this with is minimalist shapes in really cool finishes and something that definitely feels a little bit more sculptural and less prescriptive.
That's it for today's episode of Data Designs in Need of a Major Upgrade. What did you think of today's list? Do you agree with these items? Do you currently have some of these items in your home and you're looking for a modern way to update it? I have been waiting to see all of your data designs. My goal is to give you a really fresh take on what to update these items with, what to upgrade it with, budget-friendly solutions, affordable options. So I want to hear from you. If you want a chance to have your space featured in the next Dated Home Designs in Need of a Major Upgrade video, please send all of your submissions to kelly at juliekoo.com and in the subject line, you'll write data designs. So Kelly and I will be thumbing through all of the submissions and keying in to some of these dated designs that are not only common and relatable, but something that I could find a really cool alternative to share with you. We're not looking for a whole lot of detailed information. If you could keep it simple, if you could keep it succinct, bonus points if you actually film a video of yourself in your dated space, that's definitely gonna bump you up on our list and you'll have a better chance of getting a free design advice from me on the channel. So I am so excited to see all of your dated designs. I wanna thank you to Wayfair again for sponsoring this video and make sure you check out the new episodes of The Small Stuff on their channel now. If you like this type of content and you're loving the Dated Home Design series, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know all about your dated designs. Be sure to submit your space for a chance to be featured. I'll leave that link again in the description box below. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next week.